Hey, what's up guys? Hope everyone out there is doing well. My name is Mike and it's time for us to get into another music reaction. So guys, we got Hailstorm back once again. This is going to be the track Black Vultures. This is another one off the Vicious album. Tonight has been exclusively the night that I've heard songs from this album, so that's really cool. This is going to be a request. This is going to be for uh, my friend on the channel, Carol G. So um, this one is actually the uh, first track on the album. So this is... Uh, you know the introduction to the album maybe i should have done this one first but i didn't know the order yet at the time so um anyway this is one of the songs that's on the set list potentially they may play this uh, people have said they might change it up and not play it i don't know either way we're gonna check it out so i took a look at the lyrics and uh yeah this song um it's kind of like about perseverance and not giving up now i kind of want to go over the insight from lizzie because um, it's, you know, I don't really have much to interpret on the lyrics. It's pretty clear. Inspirational writing. Now, um, <clears throat> here's what she had to say about it. So, um, well, she kind of talks about uh, them going into the studio and a good friend for 10 years, Brian Vodine, ended up hanging out in Nashville one night and he was like, hey, I want to come to the studio. And we ended up jamming on this idea and it was like, hey, let's just write a song. We're here. So. She said on the way to the studio, she wrote down Vultures, the word Vultures, because she thought it was a cool song title. Then on the way, she saw at least 20 Vultures on the road picking at something. So she's like, oh, you know, this must be a sign. So they got to the studio. She mentioned the title. They wrote the instrumental part, wrote the lyrics, and that's how it kind of steered the song into being about survival. Kind of cool how that all came, again, uh, came about. So... Um, yeah, like I said, the lyrics are pretty clear, um, so we won't go over too deep a dive into that since we talked about, you know, Lizzie's insight into the song. I just want to mention they had a lyric uh, video, like an audio thing, and then they had like this visualizer video, but it looks like there was some actual footage taken for the visualizer, so we're going to check out that version. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. Sorry if I have to do any editing to, uh, you know, because of a visual content block. Here we go. I swear I didn't choose this version to stare at butts, okay? I, did, I thought this was ballet. I didn't choose it for that either, I had no idea. Okay, let me just comment on this real quick. Uh, let me put it on a different shot there. There we go. Um, but I, uh, this song, uh, in the first verse and in the intro, I was like, yeah, okay, this is rocking. And then when we break into the chorus and RJ starts going nuts and it's like the tempo increases and it becomes more of a madman of a song, man. He's doing all these crazy fast drum fills. And um, it just started making it click for me that uh, you know this again. This is the first track on the album. The album is called Vicious, and in the chorus, the song got freaking vicious, man. Um, and you know, I, I support the message again in this. You know, to be a survivor, you might be able to take this in uh, more than one meaning. You know, it could be a survivor of a traumatic incident, maybe just someone who um, you've been picked on. You know, I feel like it's up to the listener how they want to let this interpret interpretation apply to them you know from when they look at the lyrics so that's really cool too man um great rock song so far again i liked it in the beginning but when it got to the chorus i was really starting to love it man started to get really intense so let's keep going Yeah. 
Okay, he's actually doing a lot in the verses too. Get crazy again. instrumentation on this bridge. Oh, that's cool. I wonder what the story is behind this direction in the video. This was powerful, dude. This, uh, well, Hailstone, Black Vulture. Yes. Her work in the vocals and the chorus of this song, especially that outro, where I think I put my hands up. That's some of the most powerful I ever heard her, man. And I, I know I say that all the time, but that was so much power. I, uh, I'm so impressed with this, man. Uh, this song took me in a couple directions I didn't expect either. It seems, um, uh, I think I commented in the bridge, what an interesting melody they were playing. It's like, uh, I, I like when they get a little bit more um, adventurous there. You know, and maybe it had something to do with uh, that good friend of theirs that said uh, for 10 years, uh, what's his name? Brian Vodine, kind of helping him work on this. It's like a you know, uh, a taste of a little bit of a different ingredient in the music. Maybe that's where some of this stuff that was unique to me, where it came from. If so, that's so cool, man. Um, also, I uh, so yeah, again, let me just recap by saying this was an excellent song. Um, you know, I it didn't super catch me in the first verse. I didn't get caught on this one until the sec the first chorus. But then when we got to the second verse it was a little bit more intense too. They stepped it up a notch. And it, it's not that I need every song to be hard and heavy, hard rock and metal to enjoy it. But for whatever reason, I wasn't fully sold yet on the first verse. And then after that, I was good to go. I, this song kicks ass. I love it. Um, I was also going to mention, I I wonder what story the direction here by of this video by Katia Spivakova, what story it's telling here. Because there were some moments of this where I feel like it, there's a, a deeper meaning to this that I might be missing. Um, you know what I mean? Like, is this about, um, like I said, it could be about anything you want it to be if you just heard it, but watching this specific directed music video, even though it's a visualizer, interpretation makes me think it could be about abuse. So, um, and trying to be a survivor from 
uh, an abuse, uh, abusive relationship, or any kind of abuse, you know, sexual, anything. So, yeah, I, I'd just be kind of curious if anyone has any insight into the video. Um, but hey, uh, if you guys have not heard Hailstorm before, please go check them out. If you made it this far into the video, thanks for hanging out with me. I hope I do hear this one live, by the way. I hope this is not one that they don't play. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for rocking out with me. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.